So in the last video, you saw me making a start on the new heritage railway line that I'm building. We put some track down, I showed you guys how to do the points, and I even made a start on our brand new station. And I also put a marker down so it actually shows up when we're actually driving a train. But here we are, and we actually have people on our platform already. See, this, this, this railway has actually taken off so much that people actually want to invest in this railway. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, he looks like... Like a weird David Tennant, isn't he? Right, so what we're gonna be working on today is actually making the scenery, like doing the houses and the and the, and the trees, and I, I don't know what we're gonna be doing there. It's probably the grass and the ground as well, I don't know. But let's get to it, shall we? So we wanna click on World Editor, and then get back to it. And this, this is what we looked like last time uh, in, 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 in the last video, but obviously without the people. So if you guys remember from the last video, we were actually building the station, and I kind of want to finish it off. What we want to do is we want to click on the station um, thing again. You want to click on the house and then go to the station, and we should scroll down all the way near to the bottom so we can find some station buildings. So um, let's have a look at this one. Oh, wow. Look at this one. So this one we found already. I mean, this one I pretty much like. I wonder if there's any others. That one's too small. That one's not big enough. That's way too small. Too small. Too small. Too small. These ones are rubbish, aren't they? Yes, that's what we want. Look how big this is. I think this should be the station uh, building of our choice. I think we should have this one, definitely. So we'll click on that, and place it down. And then, I don't know if you can actually see, but if you hover your mouse over the object, it should light up in yellow. That's what we want. So we want to click on that, and it should light up in red. And then we just want to click on the blue arrow, and we just want to move it up ever so slightly. And you can hold down shift as well to move it more slower. So you get that Perfect. Look at that. That looks nice. Should we spin it around? So let's see what it looks like when it's spun around. Should we have it that way? Actually, I think we should have it the other way. I think the other way looks better. There we go. Look at that. Yes. Now, obviously, the building is actually floating in the air, but we're going to fix that later on. Right now, I just want to finish the station because the station is going to look fantastic. So the next thing we want to do is the fence. We want to have a fence on the station so we don't actually fall off and no passengers get hurt. In order to do that, you want to click on the track, and in the last video, I showed you guys how to actually build the station. We're going to just sort of use the same sort of technique again by clicking on this weird, like, uh, yellow cube thing. We're going to click on that, but on this time, we're going to click on the station, and then we're just going to drag it all the way across towards the end like so and then we want to click on this button here as you guys remember from the last video we want to click on this weird like orange arrow thingy and then these uh two arrow well, sorry these two yellow line things should show up but obviously this one is the one we want to be using because it's the it's where we're going to play be placing the fence but the arrow is actually too far out of the platform so what we want to do is we want to go down to here where the numbers are and then we want to sort of move it so should we have it like 4.0 Oh, that's close. We should have it like maybe 3.8. Actually, 3.7. No, maybe 3.6. 3. There we go. We have 3.6. And then what we want to do is we want to click on this one that looks like a bit like a pile of bricks. We want to click on that and then we want to choose a fence. So I think the fence we need is a weird station one. I don't actually know. So you guys have to bear with me because I'm actually not very good at reading all these things. I don't actually know what kind of fence we're actually looking for. I'm eyeballing it. I'm going to click fence wood plank. We're going to click on that and then click on the arrow and see what kind of fence it comes up with. Um, oh no, that's, that is definitely not the kind of fence we want on a station, Oliver. No, it isn't. Now, in order to undo the, a mistake, what you want to do is you want to click on this orange, like, uh, well, where it's, it's, if you hover your mouse over it, this orange arrow thing, it should say undo, and this one should say redo. What we want to do is we want to click on the undo button, boom, and that should get rid of it. There we go, easy. Now let's find a proper fence. Should we go with this one? Uh, fence white, po uh, picket, I think it's called a picket fence. Let's have a look. Hey, that's the one we want, a picket fence white. That's more like a, a, a station uh, fence, isn't it? Now, because we can't go sideways, uh, I'm going to have to eyeball it again. So we're going to use the uh, fence picket white. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to hold down control and move the arrow by using the right uh, left clicker, sorry. And then we're going to try and sort of make a, sort of like an end point for the fence to stop passengers from wandering off. So there we go. Right, so we want to click on that and then click on the arrow key thingy, and well, which is right down here. And then we want to move it up and then move it across onto the platform. And let's hope it might actually fit like so. There we go. Hey, look at that. It's not so bad, is it? 
So once you've moved it into place, uh, what you want to do is you want to just copy it. If I, I don't know if I can now because I've actually moved it. All right, we'll click undo. So I've actually got it. There we go. And then I'm going to well press Control C and then press Control V. And I should made a copy of it. I mean, you can't see it right now because I haven't placed it down yet. But if I you click the right click, uh, left clicker, I'm getting confused with my lefts and rights today. I don't know what's wrong with me, Oliver. But there it is. Uh, it's exactly the same length, this one, and exactly the same sort of angle of where we want it. So we will go all the way down to the other end, like so, and place the fence right there. We'll just we'll just have it. Not too far, but not too wide. I mean, this is a bit of a rough job, but, you know, I, I'm doing it as neat as I possibly can, but also as um, easy as I can as well, because as I said, this is a tutorial video, Oliver. You've got to keep things simple. Right, so now that's the fence done, what we want to do is we want to click and click save, because uh, Train Simulator has got a bad habit of crashing while you're... Um, it's actually a big tip for everyone. Uh, if you're doing route building, make sure you, like, do a bit and then save it afterwards, because then... Um, because if the game crashes, then you've got to start all over again. Because uh, Train Simulator has got a bad habit of uh, of crashing when unexpected. So just be warned from that. Wow, it's starting to look like a real station now, isn't it? Not too bad. I'm I'm, I'm liking it. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add... Uh, or we want, we want to do the ground now. So if we click on the paintbrush and then click on where it has this little paintbrush down here again then it should come up with all these different like pictures and stuff one of them is grass one of them is like a weird field thing we want to find the one that has mud and dirt so i think it's the third picture you want to click on where it says mud uh, i think there's one that has pictures so if we click on this thing here it should show us what kind of uh, mud we want so see if we can use this one see what kind of one this looks like see this this looks too dry we want like sort of like a wet damp grass don't we so, um, let's try this one. And in order to make it bigger, we can go down here. And where it says 10, we can get rid of the 1 and then change it into maybe, like, 3. And then that should... There we go. That's much better. That's much better. So, this, this, this mud is a bit too rocky. So, let's go to this one. And this is where all the gravel is. I think we should have a bit of gravel, actually. Maybe that might be a better idea for the railway. I mean, the, you can get loads of different textures by getting loads of different DLCs. But for this one, we're using default. I mean, I could select a DLC of what kind of texture we want, but that will just take ages, and plus it'll be rubbish. So you know, we'll just we'll just stick with the defaults for now. Because as I said, this is just a this is just a, a tutorial video. I forget forgetting this is a tutorial to show you guys of how to do paints and stuff. So the next thing I think we should do is add some trees and grass and bushes, Oliver. So you want to click on the house and then go to where it says trees and. So we should go to one that says that has the pictures, because um, it'd be much more easier if I can actually see what kind of um, bush we want. So let's scroll down. I mean, let's have a look at this one. And this one's all right, but we need we need some. Um, you can, I mean, you can have like like big grasses here. We'll have a few of them. Let's place some of them down like so. Just add a bit, little bit of detail here and there. So let's see what kind of trees we got. Oh, these ones are per these these are lovely. So what we want to do is we want to. Sort of, um, oh, where do they go? They just disappeared. We want to hold down control and then left click and then drag so they're sort of like lined up. And because these ones actually look quite nice, what we're going to do is we're going to copy them by pressing control C and then pressing control V. And then you just click, 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 and click, 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 click. Very nice. Not so bad, eh? I think it's looking great. So I'm going to quickly save this now because this is actually looking very nice. So let's just quickly click save and it should be, and there we go. Haha, <laughs> lovely. Oh, it's not bad. Look at this. I, 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 I'm I, actually blown away of how well this is actually turning out. I might actually change this and have this as the new Laser Jet Railway, maybe or maybe not. But I, I'm liking this. So let's go back to the world editor. and We want to add some trees now, don't we? I mean, we've had enough bushes. Um, where do the pictures go? There we go. We want the pictures back. Um, there we go. These, these are like more like brambles so we can have some of these don't we so we'll just click 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 i mean you guys can use what any kind of bush you want but this is to show you guys of how to like place them down how to use them or how to move them around you just click on them and you can just drag them around how lovely right let's find some trees now so we can get rid of this horrible background because we don't we, we don't want to be staring into like nothingness we want to have like a, a a nice scenery we want to be in the countryside so let's see if we can try to find some trees all of mr smith um, and I think I've just found the perfect ones, I think. Oh, yes. Look at these. These are perfect trees. Oh, my God. So I'm going to copy them again. 
like so by pressing Control C and then pressing Control V to copy and paste them. So we're just gonna put some trees there, like so. Eh, eh, eh. Lovely. Look at that. Doing some trees there, Oliver. Looking very. See, it looks starting to look like a real heritage railway. This this is beautiful. Maybe I should have um, the flying Scotsman coming here sometime. Now I'm really impressed with how these grass have turned out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy. I'm gonna hold down Control and then click, click, click every single item and object we've got, and then press Control C and then press Control V. And then, if you actually look, all the things that I've copied have come out. So we can put, put place them, sorry, not put them. We're going to place them in between these two tracks. So just to give it a little bit more detail. Because, I mean, this may be a tutorial, but heck, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm adding detail to it. I mean, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a neat person. I like doing my things neat. And I've, I, I bet it's going to look really nice once it's finished as well. So we're going to place them down like those in there. And that right in there. That's very nice, Oliver. So let's have a quick look. Oh yes, look at that. See, look how detailed that looks. I mean, maybe we might have like a little bit too many grass, but if you have too many, you can always click on them and just click quickly cl press delete by pressing the delete button. So if you just click on them and then press delete, click delete, press delete, click delete, click then press delete, click then press delete. Awesome. Very nice, Mr. Smith. Very nice, Laser Jet. We're liking this, aren't we? Yes, we are. I'll tell you what, we can actually have them on the other side as well. So if we just Hold down control, then click, 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 click. Then press control V, then control V. And then just place them down on the other side. So this place looks like it's all abandoned. Let's place a bit, a bit of grass there. So just to add like, just an extra bit of detail. Very nice. Look at that. Loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm loving it. There we go. I've got a bit of grass now. Adding a bit of detail to the scenery. Isn't that right, Mr. Laser Jet? Yes, it is. Ooh, we're doing a lot of work. I think we should have some small trees in the background. Oh, wow, this is a big tree. We're going to have, um, I think we're going to have a few of those. So we'll just put some trees down like so. There we go. So let's just have a bit of few trees. Then we want a big group of trees. So where can we find one of those, Oliver? I think we found them right here. So these these trees are just for the background because these aren't actually 3D models. They're just small, like, little 2D, like, picture things which is complete rubbish so i think it's good to have the 3d models close up and then in the background just have the 2d ones because you won't going to see them very well because they'll be in the background so you won't be able to obviously see them i mean we could have some different kind of background trees and we could have some ones that have like little heels on them which i think looks nice so we'll just place some of them down like so there you go let's have a little looky look Oh yeah, they're, they're, look, they're looking very nice. Look like in a big forest. No, look like in a big valley. Kind of looks a bit like Shining Time Station now, doesn't it? So, so far, so good, my friends. I mean, I'm liking the scenery. I mean, obviously, it looks a bit too much. But, you know, you can play around with of where you want your trees and bushes and grass and stuff. But that ends for this tutorial video today. Now, in the next one, I'll probably be doing, like, the roads and the houses and uh, just basically just like everyday life scenery where you see, like, roads, cars, buildings and houses and... Soon we'll be getting to doing the big stuff like making bridges and um, maybe doing some rivers and stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Twitch and my second YouTube channel. All the links to that in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good evening. Oh, I have a good morning actually because it's, it's still morning for me. But I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorial videos. I hope they're helping a lot. But guys, look out for part three. It's going to be amazing. We're going to start heading to the big stuff soon. So anyway, have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> How about that for an experience? It's a flying train! Yes! Oh, she made it! Oh, I can't bear this! I might be an expert at these things. Sort of.